Flexible ureteroscopy, or retrograde intrarenal surgery, has rapidly evolved in the last decade, thanks to significant improvements in the armamentarium. This approach has become a viable alternative to shockwave lithotripsy and percutaneous nephrolithotomy, even for the management of large renal calculi. Stone is big, up to three. So for me, up to three centimeters, flexi is the best option. Despite progress in the design of the ureteroscopes and accessories for flexible ureteroscopy, most surgeons perform this procedure in a standing position, a suboptimal ergonomic posture, which may result in orthopedic complaints. It may also have a negative impact on the performance of flexible ureteroscopy, particularly in the case of larger stones. It was necessary to design and then improve ergonomic platforms, not only to prevent fatigue for the endourologist, but also to reduce occupational hazards. The Turkish company Elmed designed and developed a new robotic manipulator to remotely control all of the functions of the flexible ureteroscope. The Avicina Roboflex should significantly reduce fatigue and shorten the learning curve of the procedure. We aim to use this robotic manipulator to pulverize the stone precisely and to treat even larger renal calculi. All the while, the surgeon sits in the ergonomic chair out of radiation danger. The Avicina Roboflex consists of the surgeon's console and the manipulator of the flexible ureteroscope. After introducing the access sheath in the usual method, the robot with its sterilized draped arm is brought into the operative field. The height of the arm can be adjusted according to the patient's anatomy using the touch screen at the console. The access sheath is fixed by the distal stabilizer. The flexible ureteroscope is introduced into the sheath manually supported by the proximal stabilizer. Then, the handpiece of the scope is locked into the robotic arm. Finally, the laser fiber actuator is attached and the laser fiber inserted into the channel. The entire docking maneuver takes less than 60 seconds. The surgeon then sits at the console. The position of the ergonomic chair armrest and control panel can be individually adjusted and stored in the system for six users. To manipulate the endoscope, the surgeon controls two joysticks. The right one enables deflection and is designed similar to the handpiece of any standard flexible ureteroscope. Micromotors move the steering lever of the handpiece for fine adjustments of deflection, a central wheel can be used, especially during precise systematic ablation of the stone. The left joystick allows for rotation of the endoscope, as well as advancing and retracting the scope. The speed of rotation and advancement can be regulated on the screen of the console. Once the stone is visualized endoscopically, Intracorporeal laser lithotripsy can be initiated, preferably aimed at dusting the stone through precise rotation and deflection of the scope. The laser fiber can be remotely moved in and out. The integrated water pump can also be adjusted to increase or decrease the flow rate for optimal endoscopic vision. It is also possible to produce low pressure flushing. Seven different urologists had used the Avicina Roboflex to treat 81 patients. An access sheath was used in 72 of the patients. The mean time to dock the robot was 59 seconds. The average time to identify the stone endoscopically was four minutes. The mean operative time was 74 minutes. The mean fragmentation time was 46 minutes. The mean fragmentation speed was 29 cubic millimeters per minute. 
complete stone disintegration was accomplished in 79 patients based on plain x-ray and ultrasound evaluation after three months. 80% of the patients were stone free. Based on a validated ergonomic questionnaire, there was a significant difference when comparing the ergonomics of classical versus robot-assisted flexible ureteroscopy. With its increasing applications, flexible ureteroscopy may represent a challenging technique, particularly in complicated cases. The Avicenna RoboFlex provides a suitable and safe platform for a robotic flexible ureteroscopy with significant improvement in ergonomics. Future studies will evaluate the impact of this robotic device on the clinical outcome of flexible ureteroscopy. Experts in flexible ureteroscopy from Germany, France, and the United States have come to Turkey to perform robotic flexible ureteroscopy. The future is robotization. To place into the robots, but it's maybe less than two minutes. Well, I was very impressed with the robot. It took a little bit of getting used to, but I think after three or four cases, you would feel very comfortable. The main uh, advantages are going to be either economic, from the perspective of less damage to the ureteroscopes. Secondly, it is advantageous for us to be further out of the radiation range. I was always uh, involved in the development of this device. In addition, our initial results were presented at the 2013 World Congress of Endourology. It was actually in invented and developed by my co-moderator, Professor Ramsey Salam, and uh, very well investigated by Jens Rasweiler, I guess. So we will present on this robot thing. We are talking about uh, flexible ureteroscopy or retrograde intravenal surgery. So in summary, uh, the Avicenna uh, robot has been, in my view, a very well designed instrument. It's a free rotatable manipulator with fine movement, steerable at the console, adjustable to US and European endoscopes, versatiles for endoscopes and lasers. And the Avicenna robot flex improves ergonomy significantly, sitting at the console with armrests, free control of all function. And in my view, it's really the future of flexible neutroscopy. Thank you very much.